HB 97, and I thank you for giving this bill your attention. I'm a communications professional for a Utah-based nonprofit. My husband is a molecular biologist who assists with cancer research. With me today is my dog, Captain Cowpants. He's a registered therapy dog with Therapy Animals of Utah, whom I adopted from a shelter three and a half years ago. When people ask me what kind of dog Captain is, I answer truthfully, the good kind. I don't know what he is for certain. I do know that in many places he would be labeled a pit bull, and with that label might come expectations around his behavior. I'm here to tell you that breed or appearance does not predict a dog's behavior. And currently there are 10 municipalities where someone could decide to knock on my door, remove him from my home and my family, impound him in an already overburdened shelter, and take his life, all at taxpayer expense, simply because of his appearance. In these municipalities, not only would we not be able to be homeowners, taxpayers, professionals, and members of the community, but we wouldn't be able to have helped the more than 1,000 youth we have served since Captain became a therapy dog, nor have been able to give the more than 200 hours of our time as volunteers, assisting Utahns in need through the human-animal bond. Many different dog breeds in their mixes and their families can be affected by breed discriminatory laws, but let's face it, it's usually a misguided attempt to enhance public safety. These laws fail to do precisely that because irresponsible dog owners are not limited to any one breed or type of dog. And it's these reckless owners that must be held accountable. It is a violation of our most basic property rights and it's costly and ineffective. I'll end with this email we received from a troubled young woman, a teenager whom Captain helped. This dog affected me by comforting me. I know he could tell that I was stressed and sad, and he really showed that. I'm so glad I got to meet him and lay on his stomach. People all over deserve to have a wonderful dog like that. And I also want to remind you that every dog is different, and I'm much obliged to get to know him first and ask questions. I also thank the owners for having such a wonderful dog. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Mr. Spadafore. Madam Chairman, former fellow Carbon County I. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm representing the city of South Jordan today, and we are one of the 10 cities who do have a breed-specific ordinance in our city, and we have a number of reasons for it. However, uh, in the, as, the, as House Bill 97 has progressed through the legislature uh, and, and discussions with uh, Representative King, who's been absolutely more than, more than gracious, Senator Okerlund, who's been very, very gracious as, as the Senate sponsor, we have agreed to stand down if we can add an amendment to the bill. It's not ready yet because we had a long city council meeting last night where the city attorney got home at three o'clock. And, uh, and so uh, what we would like to do, if it's, and, and the reason and, and, uh, is, is add an, uh, another section at the bottom of the bill beginning on line 38 to have an effective date of January 1st, 2015. And the reason we're, off, we're asking for this and I'll let Representative King speak to it too, as well, because we've been, we've been chatting about this for a bit, is it takes time to go through a city ordinance. You know, we have the various notice provisions. We've got it. We have to do, a, uh, we have to do uh, research uh, on uh, some of the things that we've learned. And, and I talked to Senator Shiozawa a little bit ago, you know, is that uh, it's, and, and, I've t and I've talked to a number of, of dog folks, dog, dog lovers, and I have a dog, so and, and I'm not a, a dog hater is that there are certain things, and, and, and the previous witness talked about not the dog, but it's the dog owner. And so what we want to do is we want to look at some of the options on, under the ordinance, under the or, or licensing provision that, that, that's in the bill that we can do, as long as it's not breed specific, that talks about good ownership in terms of is the, is the animal spayed or neutered, the, 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 you know, has, has the dog had the training, those sorts of things. And so we're just asking for a delayed effective date. So if, if uh, if this committee is so inclined, if Representative King and Senator Oakland are so inclined, you know, we would stand down and encourage uh, a January 1 effect date. Give us some time to do this together. Thank you, Mr. Spadafor. Do you want to respond to that, Representative King, because we have no lights from, and no other hands from the public? Yes, yeah, certainly, Madam Chair. I, uh, you know, we've been trying to negotiate this with South Jordan. They really are the city and town that's felt most strongly about the bill in terms of expressing concerns. I think that's a reasonable uh, solution to putting their concerns to rest. And, and the date that we've been talking about for the enactment date is January 1st of 2015. So rather than being effective 60 days after the governor's signature, we would make it effective on January 1st of 2015. We can prepare that amendment and have it presented when it's placed on the 
the Senate floor. Thank you. Back to the committee for further discussion. Senator Van Tassel. I would move that we pass out with a favorable recommendation, HB 97. Motion is before. Seeing no lights, would you like to sum, Representative King? I'll wait. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to sum, Senator Van Tassel? Wave. Motion is to pass out House Bill 97, Limitation on Local Government Regulation of Animals. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you for the presentation, Representative, and for the public comment. And you're certainly welcome. I think if, um, I can speak for Melissa in saying that Captain Cowpants would be happy to accommodate a pet from you if you'd like. Thank you. We appreciate that invitation. I see that Senator Hilliard is here, so we'll back up now and go to Senate Bill 79, Uniform Rural Property.